Hello friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hunter 4 Wolves of the Pacific with me, Lord Cucumber, and a shitload of mods. Right, as we left off, we had just re-entered the Pearl. It's January of 1943, and we are about to set out on our, I think, our third, fourth patrol? I don't remember. Let's see, let's have a look at the book. Alright, yeah, this is our first patrol here. Can we... Yeah, it's it's the 5th patrol even. Look at that. Wow. That was a really short one, that first patrol. The second one lasted almost half a year. And then the third one actually took us the rest of the year. Alright. And the fourth one. At that. We've got one medal. It's fantastic. Fabulous. Our crew is in a very good condition. Oh, and look at this. We actually have a good spotter. A head emergency ability. That is very interesting. And we can not afford him. <laughs> Go figure. We can't afford him, the bastards. All right, all right. I'll, I'll bite, game, I'll bite. What about these guys? Can we... Yeah, I guess we could if we had 3,000 renown, but we don't. We don't have that. Oh. That's just so unfortunate. Is anyone able... No, this is the only one who can promote. And this we need. Alright. Because it prevents bugs from happening. Alright, now I'm going to just switch out all the torpedoes here. We're going to go Mark 23 all the way. I'm not going to mess with this anymore. There we go. There's more than enough to go around, boys. Steam torpedoes for everyone. Uh, so what I'm hoping this will do, this new torpedo, is reduce the depth problem thing. I'm really hoping it will. I'm kind of tempted to bring cuties, but, well, cuties just don't do it for me. There we go. Do, 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 do. They don't cost me any renown, acuities do, so I'm gonna go for Mark 23. Um, I just, I wanna know uh, what the difference in Warhead would be. This thing, there's no difference in Warhead. This one is just fast, permanent. It's a high speed feature of the Mark 14 torpedo. Mm, and change requires most of these torpedoes for so little service. No, not with me. Early in the war, low speed features were rarely used. Later in the war, fewer targets and improved your blah, blah, blah. Longer rangers, Mark 14 with low power and long range, began a preferred weapon. Much of the 23 inventory was scrapped or converted to Mark 14s. Kind of lies for spare parts. Alright, well, we are going to run the Mark 23s. Because we're cool like that. There we go. Let's see what our next mission is, shall we? They're sending us to the Palau Islands, which is actually quite close to where I want to go which is uh, New Guinea and the Solomons because this area from January up to December of 1943 is gonna be a hot zone with Japanese shipping there's gonna be a lot of stuff happening there uh, Palau Island 108 nautical miles for four days patrol that sounds perfectly decent to me let's go and start outside the harbor here we go nice picture of an old sub Clearly our sub because the gun is in the rear there. And yeah, there's an American flag there somewhere. It, it this one bears the number five. Yes, sir. Number five is alive. Yes, sir. Anyone seen short circuit? It was a great movie back in Chase the eighties. Great Bear. stuff. Three. Back then they knew how to make Bear. movies. <laughs> Alright. Now here we go set out into deep water here there we go yeah 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 I don't care about your radar reports really I don't uh, wake island we're gonna try and avoid that but we may not be able to I'm gonna go to Dunker's Derp no the parlor the parlor and then from the parlor on to Miller Blark Blark there we go Let's see uh, see to it that we have a nice circle there going on in that area 100 miles because I like to have that 8 mile buffer as you may know by now 
There we go. Ar approximately 100 miles is good. It's perfectly fine. Alright, now let's see if we can safely compress time and get out of the harbor without Single bumping fire. into something. I think, though, we're going to bump into the shore there if we do this. That's not, guys. Let's just do this, right? There we go. That's... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, look at that. There's a little PT boat thingy going on. Huh? Hello, PT boat. Single contact. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Two, five, I'll turn the radar off. Long range. Ooh, that's a nice supply ship, I think. It's a supply ship, hospital ship like. I like it. It does have a gun, actually. But it looks like a supply ship. And that's another sub. I think it's our old sub. Could be. It's not. It's definitely not a, a Gar or a Temer class. Because it's got the gun up front and it's smaller. Slightly. Alright, what else do we have? We have cranes, another. Another, I think that is a guard class. No, it's got a gun up the front. So these are all very old subs. There's no other subs like ours. I guess. Whoa, whoa, it's like really close. All right, we're heading out. Good. All right, enough of that. That's time compress away. Whoa, whoa, that's like. <laughs> damn. It was fast. These boys are fast, man. Yeah, whatever. And we better go to... No, standard speed is fine. We need to reach the target area as quickly as we can. And try not to pass Wake Island. Once we pass it, by the way, I suppose we can... Um, we can just... Let's see what the water is like. Freaking quiet. Of course, this is perfect weather for airplanes and such, which are going to clearly hit us, because, well, you know, I'm checking my mail messages while we're at this. Lord Nut, or something, has subscribed to us. Yes, you're in my video, Lord Nut. <laughs> However you say your name. Alright. <coughs> Be glad that you're in my video. I rarely name other viewers. So, there you go. Alright, the Marianas. Through the parlor. How's the weather? Slightly more ripply now, but still pretty quiet. And we've got a full moon, I think. Is it a full moon? It does look that way, but I don't see the moon. It's probably behind us, is it? I see behind us. No. Oh, it's, I'm just looking at the paint job here. Not very useful. Alright. Should be up there, man, on the conning tower. Okay, let's skip ahead, shall we? Skip, skippity hop, skip. So, yeah, I'm uh, quite excited to go into this phase of the war with this game, because... Um, as I said, this is going to be a hotbed of Japanese activity because the Allies are attacking the Solomons, they're attacking New Guinea. Um, it took them about a year to secure the entire area. They had to bomb truck several times, which is a Japanese naval base. Wake Island became the, uh, the a place where, where a lot of uh, dr small dramas took place, relatively small dramas, people getting executed by the Japanese. It's also the phase of the war, as I recall, um, where uh, where airmen that bombed Tokyo uh, got executed. I think it was late 1942, beginning 43, uh, after the Doolittle raids, uh, and they uh, they they st only started bombing Japan again um, in in beginning of 44 because of that, if I recall correctly, somewhere late 43. So this is a very moving year. A lot of stuff happening. A lot of stuff happening around it. Um, I did some research, obviously, on this subject, um <coughs> as I am uh, very interested in uh, in where I'm supposed to be going, because that, of course, it, you can consider that cheating, but I don't. I think it's uh, a very good way to just learn to go Oh, boy. See? This is what you get when you're just talking away. 
Merchant spotted. North northwest slow. What kind of north northwest slow are you talking? Ship spotted. Ship spotted. Bearing three. One. Wait a minute. It's more than oh, one. Bitch. Really? Really, game? Is that a fact? Because I don't see him. Do we hear him? It's probably more important. Yes, sir. Sweeping. No sound contacts. It's probably sh saving ships again. Uh, we're heading up slow. Let's see what happens if we just go come a little closer so we can actually see them. Alright. Yeah, they're sailing boats. I can see them just on the edge of the screen here. Alright, fine. That's great. Uh, why don't you boys, boys uh, stop the boat and go to periscope death for a moment? We don't want to get seen. They're probably seeing us now. There we go. We're just going to keep doing this for a while. Probably go under them. We might even hit them, which would be really interesting. Freak occurrence if we do, but all right. I'm gonna adapt my course, I guess. There's nothing between us now and uh, our target area, so there we go. We don't want to hit that little island. All right. I guess we could just keep this up for a little while. Now we surface the boat. There we go. Go to two thirds ahead, gentlemen. There we are, steaming up into the target area. It's February 3rd, took us a few weeks to get here, I guess. Whoa, enemy, small enemy convoy. Where exactly? Heading east. Small enemy convoy, south-southwest medium. South-southwest, eh? That's this way. It's heading towards us. Small enemy convoy. You know, that might be an interesting thing to go for. Why not? What kind of weather is it? Yes, sir. Ooh, it's actually really good weather. We'll have cover of darkness. Yeah, I can see a lot of interesting things gonna happen here. South southwest. So they're and their yes, their speed sir. is slow. Returning to course, sir. Yes, All right. No, it's medium. It's medium. Uh, south southwest. What would that be in this case? Let's see if we can predict that course. South southwest would be somewhat like south southwest would be around here somewhere. I'm just gonna yeah, this is southwest. This is south, so this would be it somewhere around here. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's do this, Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> I really have no idea if this is going to do anything. Alright. What kind of weather are we talking? Okay, pretty dark night. But hopefully the radar will pick them up. Eventually. Maybe, just maybe, we should head up north once we hit that line. Get into position there. Medium speeds, yeah, they might hit our line somewhere um... another convoy in our neighborhood quite close by actually heading south south east good grief um... Yes, okay yes, so these guys are doing something like this are they heading to this little island maybe? could that be it? Is there Something to do on this little island? I don't know. Does it really matter? Don't think so. I like a small convoy better than a big one though, so I'm gonna keep doing this for a little while. Alright. Let's try and head towards them. And hopefully we will get to see them. So erase this line, we're not going to go for this one. I hope I estimated this right. 
They might have passed me a long time ago. Yeah, they're gone. They're gone. They're very gone. They may have adjusted course, and then they're out of here. All right. Uh, let's let's return the course. Somewhere, go somewhere around here, and then back to where we were going, which is over here. Small convoy at yeah twelve nine hours later. If they're going medium speed. Uh, they could easily go, let's see, 100 miles, they could be over here somewhere, I don't know, it doesn't matter, we're not going to get them. These are not moving fast, so I don't want to even get near those, at all. Enemy task force, there's a lot of sh shit going on, wow, um, okay, there's another one going fast. Is busy I did just busy waters maybe I really shouldn't go for this right now oh okay merchant spotted really what kind of merchant are we talking the one with a smokestack I hope 340 I'm not seeing a gentleman but I assume where is it going it's probably It's heading out. Alright, let's try and intercept this thing. East northeast small convoy. East northeast slow in a convoy construction. What kind of convoy? Ah damn it, they're saving boats. Take your boats out of my face. <laughs> Darn it! I hate it when that happens, Jim. Alright. Let's forget about these. We're not going after these. Yes, slow down, just slow down. Let slow. them pass. Let them pass. I know it. they're there. Hopefully they won't notice us. Um, I think they did. Yeah, they did. They saw us. They're gonna radio in that large, uh, large group of ships going, that going that was just on this line here, and they're gonna be assholes about it, and warn every ship in the vicinity. Here they are. See, these guys are really fast. Large convoy east. Um, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Lots of stuff going on now. East. What? You're shitting me, right? Three, two, seven, long range. Really? Except from a previous encounter. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing there, man. Really. For sure. Alright, give me a sweep. Just in case. No sound contact. See, there's nothing there. You're imagining things. But, but, we are definitely in a very busy little area. Which is nice to know. So that means shipping is very, very common here. Radar contact. Let me guess. Very fast. Yeah, I figured you would be uh, coming around by right, right about now. I think I raced my circle here. That's not very nice. I need my circles. There we go. And just dive or something. And keep going. For a little while. Surface. Surfacing the damn boat. Alright, I'm just gonna keep it at this pace for now because apparently stuff happens around us continuously. Okay, now we've got night. Might as well speed up time compression now because if we run into something now we're gonna be right on top of it. Unless we've got a report stating stuff is near us. Man, there's just no way we're gonna intercept any of these. Unless we get a radar contact. What is this? Very fast, northeast. 
Yeah, they've. I'm sorry. They've got planes looking for us now. Yeah, you keep flying northeast. <laughs> and no notice us. There we go. Now we can pop up again. Alright. Oh, a large convoy heading southwest. Now that may very well be very interesting. Nine knots. That's that's how fast they're going. We have to remember that. So this is going southwest at nine knots. So I guess it's heading toward Malilukuluk something. I'm going to stop the boat for a moment. There we go. And I suppose it's got medium speed. It's got nine, it's got nine knots speed-wise. How far away are we from its course? Just under 60 nautical miles. That's actually doable. We're going to do it. We're going to go for their, their tract. Let's see. This is... Uh, if they do nine knots, it'll take them 30 minutes, I think. No, less. Less than, th I think about 20 minutes to get here. So, we're gonna be there first. There we go. I'm, 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 I'm guess guesstimating here. So this speed, yeah, we'll be there in time for the party, I think. Um, yes. Alright. Let's see if we do this right. Shall we? Laying in wait of the enemy. Alright. Slow down a bit. Let's take your time. Okay. Now, if we did this a little bit right, which I do hope we did, um, so that's 135, I guess this is 90, and this would be 180, so half of that would be 120, f no, 220, I don't know. 90 degrees, 45 degrees from 90 degrees is 135. We actually measured it out pretty well. 135. Wow. Okay. Alright. We're on the money. Now we have to do... All we have to do is wait. And measure out somewhat the distance. So, yeah. We need to have about a thousand yards away from them, so it's gonna take us an hour to get there. This rate. Mm. Come on, I want a thousand yards play, play time. Around a thousand yards, something like that. I can't even predict that. Two hundred yards? No, it's oh, never mind. All right. Now, if we did things right, I would think we can lie in wait here. Yes, what's what's the range on our? I think our radar has a range of about eight nautical miles, nine nautical miles, something like that. So, if we are in this range, somewhat, you would be able to spot them, or at least their edge. So I'm going to stop the boat somewhere here. Here we go. Hopefully, I'm really hoping here, carefully hoping, <laughs> the enemy will be coming on to us within a few minutes. Ah, oh, they've passed us, haven't they? No, we've got a radar contact. It's something going very fast. Oh, crunch! Periscope depth. Periscope depth. 
It's heading west northwest. It's heading right for us. Go to 200 meters. 200. 200 something. If we get a sound contact now, I'm going to so stomp myself in the face. Alright. This will be enough. Surface the damn boat. Well, that didn't do too much. I thought we might be able to intercept them. But they have probably passed us and we missed our mark. Very likely that we did. So, we're going to be moving out again towards this area. Yes, uh, two thirds, at least. Yes, they were there, but they're just not there when we were there. Uh, Radar contact. Medium. Ship north northwest. Oh, really? Is that a fact? It's heading north northwest. So stop, stop the boat. Stop the boat now. Stop the boat. Stop it. No, no, don't delete my circle. Oh. All right, all right. If we had so, let's see where. Let's mark it. Mark its position. Mark it out like this. There it is, somewhere around there. Is that a course, uh, well, north for now? How far away is it? Alright. And, and just do it slowly, if you will. Alright, now we have some idea of where it's going. Some idea. There we go, second mark. Probably this is probably its course somewhat. Might deviate to the right or left. No, it's actually quite correct. All right. Good. How far away are we from this course? Uh, five nautical miles. That's perfect. Oop. In that case, go back to standard speed, if you will, and, and then head over here. So no, like this. Let's measure this out. Oh, it's almost a perfect shot if I were within range, especially with fast torpedoes. Just need to be over here, I guess. Something like that. No, we don't want to lose it. We don't want to lose it. It's medium speed. There we go. It hasn't seen us yet. It can't have. Alright, standard speed, better move into position, and go under. Good. I hope the weather isn't shit, I didn't check it. <sighs> I always have a problem with this kind of weather, of course. Uh, let's not try and get yes, too... Alright, I don't know if I need to set my torpedoes for this one. We'll know soon enough. Let's go to two thirds. We've got about five to ten minutes to check what we need to do here. Okay, it's it has deviated it from its course. Right now we're hearing it over here. Give me a give me my pencil, damn it, my pencil. All right, it's over here. So it wasn't exactly where I thought it would be. That's okay though. But it was right over this mark, so I guess it moved a little bit to the right over there. So what we need to do is get closer. In fact, I think we need to go over here. And then this would be around 1100. Yes, that would be perfect. Perfect. Alright, let's do that. Let's do it, Leroy Jenkins. Let's do it. Alright, alright you guys, whoa, slow down. <laughs> alright. <sighs> to be in that position before that thing. Okay, we've got some forward motion left. All stop is perfect. Alright, get it up. Get my torpedoes out. Now these might still have the problem with the uh, depth setting, so we're going to set it really shallow. Uh, 
first torpedo. Open it up. What do we got? What do we got? Something going medium speed, so it could be anything from a warship to a... And it is, in fact... I have no idea. Something with a stack in the middle. Exciting stuff. Could be anything. Anything goes. Anything goes. And it's um, it looks like a merchant. In rough seas. Alright. No problem. Open tube 2 as well. Do we still have a lock? We do still have a lock. Good. But I can't see what it is just yet. I'm gonna go a little closer. Just a tad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All stop. If I can not make out what it is in time, time compress a little bit, there will be no need to do anything with this thing. Because I'll simply be too close. Alright, now we have some good ideas. This could be a troop carrier, actually. It has camouflage on the sides. Recognition manual. Alright, Japan. What are you throwing my way? No, it's not that, it's not that. It has these... these no. Not quite. Not quite this either. No, it's not a tanker. It's not this either. It's got this. This might be... It. It looks smaller. It is quite a bit smaller, I think. A Yunmaru is possible, but I don't know. Ah, uh, what would you make of this, gamers? A Yunmaru? No. Rigged. Split. Merchant. Old rigged split merchant is... Actually... A possibility here. Although they painted her up really weird. It's not this, it's not this, this could be it. Mm. Mm, how low is she in the water? Can't tell with the stupid weather. Get me up a little yes. bit higher. Alright. Yeah, this is it. This is definitely it. I'm gonna say it's it. That's it. Alright, you can drop a little bit now. Drop to... Yes, sir. You get five, Good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Five. Anyway, the way we're gonna fire these torpedoes, it won't matter much. We'll be firing and they're low in the water. If this is truly that ship, it doesn't have very much draft. Okay, let's measure it, shall we? Yeah, we're gonna say it's this. And we're gonna measure its distance, which would be something like this, I suppose. And it would be like this. We can easily see it's... See where it's going. Cannot compute this target speed. How about now? Nope. No. Twelve knots. Would that make sense? It doesn't make sense. For some reason, it could be something else. No, it's not. It doesn't have that little thing in the back. Or in the front. It doesn't seem... Yes, it does. It is definitely this ship. Alright, we're getting up to the mark point now. And because it's so... Damn... I don't believe it's that. It can't be that. I don't believe it. Go to battle stations. Maybe you just don't know. Maybe you're just not very good at this. Officers. I could have measured this a while back by measuring the time it takes for one t getting to one point to another, but 
I'm generally not very uh, good at that, so... 11 knots, that might be it. See what the computer says. Computer, what do you say? Oh, the other one. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna say it's that. Let's take one more measurement before we launch the torpedoes. No. There we go. Alright. Fire. You're still sure about this? No, you're not. Alright, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna have two torpedoes in the water. Let's see how these Mark 23s fare, shall we? Should have impact fairly quickly. Although in this weather, I have no idea what we're gonna get. Oh dear, premature? No, that was a premature, definitely. Alright. Open another tube. I'm getting the second one as well. Yeah, I figured that might happen. Alright. 11 knots again. There we go. 